Okay. So, um, Brandon, what else do you want to talk about on here? Because I know we'll have some other additional questions. Rick, is, you've had some good questions, so thank you very much. Um, you know, yeah, I, I'm full I, of good I, questions. <laughs> I came up with a list of just, uh, you know, some of the benefits for and, and what we could add value to this for, for some of these vendors that we want to, you know, bring on and, and add to this. So, uh, I mean, we can take a minute to, to talk about those. You know, we talked mm -hmm. about the videos. Um, you know, some of the, the cool benefits that, you know, working with Beth and her team, as far as like the, uh, the online marketing portions of it is, you know, we can do some promotions for them, uh, on both our social media, uh, as well as the newsletter. Uh, and so, you know, we're actively promoting them on our social media pages. Um, you know, we can provide, uh, you know, a, a special offer through our company, you know, that, that we can distribute to our customers on their behalf. Um, so those kinds of things, um, you know, Beth touched on uh, some of the SEO benefits, uh, you know, backlinks and, and optimization to their own websites and whatnot. I want to say um, something about that before you go any further, because here's the thing. Do sure. not sell this off SEO optimization because they're going to expect this to show up in the search engines. And that is extremely difficult. Um, the more competitive their search engine, their community is, the harder it's going to be. And so we have an agreement. We're certain building a certain amount of backlinks, but a full, full, full court press on this, on each page for each vendor. I'm just saying, don't sell that lead with, here's how the traffic source is lead with another traffic source. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not saying don't say it. Just don't lead with that as a traffic source. You'll be solely upset. Yeah. They well, one of Brandon's uh, uh, vendors did not have a website at all. He had some online, you know, directories or whatever, but no website. And so mm -hmm. now he has something that, like you said earlier, that he can send people to that has his information. And he got, a, I think Brandon and I talked about him getting a custom URL and, and just forwarding it to this page on Brandon's yeah. website. So that would be the smartest thing they could do right there. Get a custom URL for domain forward it right here. You can mask it, yep. you know, domain for domain mask right there on GoDaddy if they buy it there and it'll look like their own website. They'll obviously be on yours, but the URL won't reveal it's yours. Mm -hmm. So, so domain forward and domain mask on GoDaddy, help them with that. Okay, and, Brandon, and I'm sorry. I just didn't want you to, anybody that's listening to this call, to get out in front and start pushing that SEO thing. It will happen, but it isn't our first traffic source. No. Well, well, what Brandon and I talked about was um, when when he has an issue and he's going to recommend, you know, like a roof issue or roof re replacement, he can say in his inspection report, you know, this roof is past its useful life we recommend you get a, a estimate for a new roof. Here's here's somebody you could call that will give you a free inspection or whatever. And then he puts the link to that vendor's page in his inspection report. The most powerful traffic generator right there, yeah. bar none. And, and so, so home inspectors are going to be reluctant to do that because here's what they're going to say. If they screw up, that's direct reflection on me. Get it. Got it. Had it done. Okay. So here's what happens is um, Reliable Heating and Air was our HVAC um, uh, company. They're they're the largest trained dealer in the U.S. Okay. They're, they're in Atlanta, Georgia. And so I went to Dan Jape and his wife was in the business with him then. And I said, listen, we have, I mean, we're doing, you know, a million five in home inspections a year. Okay. And a bad year. Okay. And what we want you to do is we need an HVAC contractor that services the whole Metro Atlanta area. And they were just in Roswell then. They were quite small, really. And so Dan said, we'll do it. And I said, okay, well, here's the thing, Dan. I'm not asking anything from you except to help my customer. But if there's a problem, I expect you to take care of it. And I'm going to follow up with a customer. But if you don't take care of it and I have to do intercede on your behalf, we'll terminate the relationship right there. And I'm going to tell you, there has been a time or two where a customer did call back and um, it came to my attention through their realtor and uh, Dan said, we're already on it. You know, this is a story, you know, you don't need to know all the details, but we are on it and it's going to be, everybody will be happy in the end. And I said, Dan, rock on, bro. Um, so there you have to have an agreement with them that we can't have our relationship with our sphere of influence, whoever that happens to be tarnished because of improper work and you won't stand behind your work. So what's your guarantee? Those will be on the questions that you'll ask the vendor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we can't do it. 
But think about this. We're replacing the buyer's agent. We're building a sphere of influence. Okay. So every customer you help with all of these things or more rabid brand fans. And we're going to talk about that later in another call, how to build these brand fans and how to maintain them. Okay. So, um, so get that agreement with them.